white pointer shark as big as our boat grazing at its leisure. Silent, powerful and oblivious to the once-in-a-lifetime spectacle it and four other huge great whites are giving tourists. Awesome. <laughs> it's your excitement with the sharks and the whales. It's been wonderful, isn't it? Once in a lifetime, mate. Once in a lifetime. For one man, awe gave way to impulse. Not too many people as stupid as I am, but... This shark keeping a watchful eye. Local tourism operators are making the most of it. Could be worth hundreds of thousands here at the moment. We see the, all these charter boats coming out here now, and uh, uh, that one I think has done about six trips today at the moment. And, uh, well, you, there's something you'll probably never see again. And an unexpected treat for holiday makers aboard the local ferry, which took a detour on its way to Kangaroo Island. This southern right whale was one of only 7,000 in the world. It's believed to have died a few days ago after being hit by one of the many freighters which used the rough stretch of water between Cape Jervis and Kangaroo Island. The great white shark is also endangered, seeing them together a stunning double feature. In addition to the tourism boom, the whale and the sharks provide an enormous opportunity for researchers. It's really important to, to get as much information as we can whenever we find it in a dead animal, especially with an endangered species like the southern night whale. We're looking at conservation strategies to try and maximise the recovery of the population. But there are no plans to recover the whale carcass at the moment. So for now, weather permitting, this will remain one of the greatest shows on earth. Mark Smith, 10 News.